Okay guys, this is Cruz Roy with the Up Air one. Alright, um, it's I got home late. It's going to get dark really quick. And what I want to do is try to show you if this bird can lift off with the dual batteries. They got two Phantom 2200s at 95% and the main batteries at 95% because I was testing them last night. Alright, that's the dual battery mod and the connector, the adapter that goes through the battery shell. And let me take my camera guard off. All right. <clears throat> let me turn the radio on. All right. Um, I'm probably not gonna get a lot of satellites here because I'm between my house and a little shed here. Shut my phone off. No interference, cell phone. All right, so props are on. I have the two batteries. I'm going to hook up the adapter. I'm gonna make a new adapter so it isn't so long. All right, first I'm gonna boot up the main battery. All right, that one's booting up. The up air is coming on. Shows 11.9489 voltage. I hope I don't crash back here. I like being in an open area to test, but especially something new. I got 12.02 for voltage now and connecting the third battery. So I know I call it the dual battery mod, but technically speaking, it has triple batteries. And we're going to see how it handles. And it actually seems like it's charging itself. You notice that? The other two batteries are starting to charge the main battery. So let me shut this off. Huh. It looks like it's charging the main battery. Alright. I got no satellites. I'm going to sit here for a little bit. And see if I can get a few, but we all know the up air takes forever to get satellites. I got both of my switches up, I'll hold, because it's not going to help you to have GPS with no um, satellite locks. I might not get nothing because I'm just confined here, but we're going to try and give it a few minutes. I think in all told I can start it. All right, she started, but I have no satellites or anything, folks. So I'm flying by wire here. I have no GPS. I have the camera going, but I'm running these two batteries. I'm just gonna try to keep it hovering here. Looks like the main battery just shut itself down and it's in land mode. Okay, it went into land mode right away, so that was a crappy test. Let me see why. Oh, the battery was off. That battery, the main battery was off, so let's try that again. Okay, back into all told. So it can carry both batteries. This has no antenna mod for the VTX. And I was playing with it last night, so I don't know how long it's gonna fly. No satellites flying by wire right now.
still no GPS, so I'm flying an all pole. Everything's going fine. The voltage is 1091. The main battery's getting lower. I probably thought I was a little, I should have did a full charge. I didn't do a full charge test on any of these lipos. It was just a test to see if she'll take off. Still no satellites. I got a lot of wind here. So I didn't realize that. I didn't have the main battery on. I wish I had satellites here to get a hold, but I don't. I'm flying at my fingertips here. Got no GPS. Score 107473 on the battery. But like I said, I did not have a full charge on any three of these batteries, so this ain't a good longevity test, but it's just to show you we can carry those two batteries. Ten six eight. Ten seven two on the batteries. Do a little leaf blowing. I got one light on the main battery and it's been sitting there, not going into home mode because the other two batteries are taking over the power. And it is pretty windy, so it kind of sucks to be windy and no GPS. But I'm keeping it in here. The other two batteries have kicked in and they're uh, keeping the uh, single battery charged because it's been on one line for almost four minutes now. So those two other batteries are keeping the main battery charged. Hopefully my glasses are picking this up. But still no satellites. I think the cold weather are really bad for these with satellites. Look at the screen. Not one satellite. I'm flying by wire here, which is still pretty hard to fly a drone. Drones can be just like helicopters with no GPS help. Oh, I got three GPS now. The voltage is 1060. And if you look, the battery's going dead now on the main drone. One blinking light. So the main up air battery is dying. So this thing's taken over from the two side packs. So you got 2200, 2200 milliamps, 5400 in the bay. I gotta watch it because if it goes into all foam, gonna hit the trees here so you gotta click the return home really quick because she'll want to fly up straight so I think at this time I'm gonna land I'm kind of afraid of the voltage it's close and I don't want it to go in the return home with no GPS's all right I'm at 10 5 3 6 minutes and the main battery is dead. It's blinking on one cell. The two side packs are keeping it charged. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting iffy here. Straight up there's a lot of trees. Do I have enough time to shut off return home? Oh, it's on land now. Now don't hold any other sticks. Bring it down. Just hold them the throttle stick. Don't play with this stick because that's when you get flip overs. 
All right, so it's showing 11.16 volts. It went for six minutes, but like I said, if you check out, let's see if you can see that. Camera's working. Um, it went into land mode. I think the cold air affects the batteries anyways. I got 11.28, I could probably start it up again, but I don't want to, um, 648 minutes. And I know that sounds horrible, but these batteries weren't all full charged. I'm trying to do this before it gets dark. All right. So even this battery, what it's doing now, believe it or not, it's starting to charge itself off of those two battery packs. It's actually charging. So you could actually let it sit here, let these two batteries deplete and charge that main battery. But let's shut it off. No, oh, it's not going to shut off until I disconnect the batteries. <sighs> So that's pretty cool. It's actually these two battery packs are charging this cell. So let's disconnect it from the two. The whole up air is off. Let me push that. It's on two cells. It charges itself up. That's back on. So two cells. Let's shut it off. All right. Shut the transceiver off. All right, guys. So, like I said, I think these were 94, 95%. I'm not sure. I didn't even test them. I just wanted to come out and do a flight before it got um, dark out. And uh, that's the adapter. See, no problems. And the dual batteries for the Up Air 1. All right. This is Cruise Roy Up Air 1 dual battery packs. And I'm out of here.